Good evening. My name is Andrew Kaywood, and I'm doing my persuasive presentation on why states should not open from the coronavirus just yet. The novel coronavirus has been causing the world to crash and burn lately, and this is especially true for the United States. The United States is topping the charts at over 1 million infected and 50,000 confirmed dead. The U.S. currently quadruples the second country with the most infected, and that is Spain at 200,000. With these statistics in front of us, um, many governors have decided to keep their states open. And these states include Alaska, Colorado, Georgia, Minnesota, Mississippi, Montana, Oklahoma, South Carolina, and Tennessee. They have all decided to reopen next week. So, uh, and this is all according to the New York Times. With these plans in place, it will only lead to the spread of the virus in even more larger numbers. The U.S. has been an absolute failure on the topic of containing the coronavirus. The United States has surpassed 1 million confirmed cases um, and 50,000 deaths, which is more confirmed than the Vietnam War. That fact right there is just astounding to me. President Trump's initial response um, was that he did not blame himself for the poor management of the virus. He wasn't claiming it. The medical industry is swamped with corona patients and they do not have the supplies to take care of the many people. Hospitals are having to use equipment that are having to reuse equipment, which is very dangerous. They are being forced to use trash bags as protective gear and that alone is just un unacceptable. With the hospitals not having these supplies that they need, the spread of the virus within the hospitals is inevitable. Um, my dad, who is the president of the Norton ERs in Louisville, um, he came home from work one day really upset because that all of the masks that the government were supposed to be shipping to his hospitals got redirected to New York because they needed them more and which left his hospital in shambles as they're trying to scrounge up anything that they can have. With the U.S. already at the top of the charts, the medical and the medical in industry scrambling, these numbers are going to rise, especially with states reopening. Federal researchers have made the best guess of 300,000 deaths if the states reopen. If the states don't reopen, they have said that it could be more like only 150,000, which is still way too much. Worst case scenario is that the U.S. death toll will surpass 1 million by the end of 2020, and I really hope that does not happen. The president has said that the states should not reopen unless they have three consecutive days of slower infection rates. With this said, none of the states have reached these requirements as, and the states are just warning the signs from the government, from hundreds of experts even. And they will still begin to reopen these businesses. With all of that being said, I hope that everyone out there is staying very safe, as safe as possible. Please Take care of those people around you and do as much as you can to help the government and the hospitals. I know that even food donations, anything, they're loving right now. Thank you.